welcome to this TTA TV video. In a previous video, we examined conic sections, looking at how when we slice a cone, we get various shapes. We examined how the parabola has unique properties and where we can see it in everyday life. If you remember back, we looked at examples such as the basketball video here from 2014, where the last minute shot lands in the net, leaving the shooter's hands and forming a perfect parabolic path as it makes its way. In today's video, we'll be focusing on how to construct a parabola using our drawing equipment. So the first thing to do is to get the dimensions of your parabola and draw a box which represents its overall height and width. Next thing we do is we split this box in half from left to right. We will now begin working on dividing up the parabolic curve. The first thing we do is taking half the distance on the bottom, we divide it into a set number of parts. To do this, we will use our division of a line method. Normally, four to five parts would be sufficient. This will depend on the size of your drawing. The more parts you divide it up into, the more accurate and easy it will be to draw your curve. In this video, we are dividing it up into four parts, like so. Now we project these base divisions vertically. So you'll see we bring them straight up from the bottom. Now we must divide the height of the parabola into the same amount of parts that we used for the base. So if you remember, 4 was the amount that I divided the base into. So in this case, I would divide the height of the parabola into 4 parts also. Again, we'll use the division of a line method to do this. The next stage is to mark the vertex of the parabola. In our previous videos on the parabola, we explored what the vertex is. So in this case, it's the top of the parabola, and we mark it as so. We now must take the divisions that we used for the height of the parabola, four in this case, and join them each individually to the vertex. Lastly, cross-reference these base projections with the lines that we've just joined the vertex. So for instance, if I go up to my first division and my first width, I can mark those against each other. The second one with the second one and the third one with the third one. And lastly, marking the vertex at the point on the parabola. Because the parabola is symmetrical, we don't need to go through this process again. Instead, can simply mirror over the points to the right hand side. This is a form of axial symmetry. So we use the central axis of the parabola and because it's symmetrical we just take the distance of each point individually and take it from the left to the right hand side. This will give us a series of points for our parabolic curve. 
we can now join these together carefully to form parabola. This will be done freehand, but care should be taken to be as accurate and neat as possible. Some people prefer to draw this in one continuous curve, and others prefer to take it in segments, perhaps moving and tilting their page to suit as they complete the different proportions of the parabola. So that's how to draw a parabola using our drawing equipment. In more videos, we'll be exploring other conic sections later on. Remember, we would encourage you to subscribe to the TTA TV channel on YouTube for more videos like this.